Hello, y'all. <clears throat> I'm showing my face right now, even though it's going to take up more time to upload. And, um, you know, so, um, but anyway, it's now 6.42 p.m. <clears throat> and I didn't want to do the short story too late. <clears throat> so, if, if I'm not telling the truth, then why are the gang stalkers mad at me? If I'm not telling the truth, then what reason do you have to be mad at me then? If I'm if I'm lying, why are you mad at me and fighting harder to try to destroy me? <clears throat> Excuse me. So I wrote at least nine blog posts today. I wrote nonstop with no breaks today. You can't tell me I didn't do work today. So, I did, I also did a short story, and, um, feeling the effects of sleep deprivation, <clears throat> and so, you know, I wrote a short story in hopes that, you know, wow, wait a minute, oh. So, I I mean, since I'm not allowed to work, basically, you know, many covert ways to prevent me from working and having a job and trying to survive. I mean, they're even trying to stop me from writing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, I wrote a short story in hopes <clears throat> that, you know, I wrote a short story that, you know, if you like it, then, you know, maybe you can pitch in and donate five or ten dollars and help me out with dinner to eat or a meal to eat, like, and toiletries. All I have in here is um, peanut butter. And bread, peanut butter. I, I mean, I made some. I had two peanut butter sandwiches earlier. <clears throat> so, you know, I mean, as I said, I was trying to do the short stories and blogging and ebooks and all that as a side hustle. But the online perps want to stop it. <clears throat> and so, um, you know, they're creating stronger slander campaigns to shut me down. So, <clears throat> I, excuse me, I also added a couple of more links today in the description box that warn people, you know, about the targeted individual and gang stalking that people are participating in. You know, I added two more links that are not my blogs or not my websites. You know, it's other people's websites. <clears throat> that they posted, you know, to spread more awareness about the um, targeted individual and in gang stalking. <clears throat> so, um, this is MK Ultra and human trafficking because they want to try to make money off of your, my so-called mental illness. And, um, you know how people, if people want to say that you're crazy, but I heard that those be the most gifted and talented people, you know, the most gifted people, and nobody told me that they thought I was gifted until my, um, somewhere in high school that, that special ed teacher, Miss Prevost, used to always say that she thought I was gifted. Her nephew is a doggone Freemason. But anyway, I think she's been saying that since my junior year in high school. So, um, but I think in my, in my special ed records, my school records and the special ed IEP and stuff, they suspected that I was gifted also in kindergarten. They thought that, they thought that I was, um, they thought that I was gifted in kindergarten. 
you know. So, um, they said I was the smartest kid in the classroom, but the most poorly behaved. And I behaved badly, not realizing what I was doing, because, you know, of growing up in an abusive foster care household and I didn't realize that was of course you're a child you don't know that's MK Ultra or mind control what they're doing <clears throat> so the way I the person that I am today the online perps blame me for being who I am rather than having compassion and realizing what happened to me growing up it's what made me who I am today and how and why I am the way I am today. <clears throat> so, um, but they just want to look for any reason to consider me the problem. So, they had this online perp came on my other channel that I never saw before. And on a tar targeted by the Psych World Backup Channel and try to bully, harass, and lecture me and try to say, well, why block me when you're going to respond to me anyway? Well, how could I respond to you if I blocked you? Well, I blocked you because of harassing me. So then this perp, see how they lie? And, and the slander campaigns that they make about me? It might as well be some fiction stories. You know, they're selling, my, selling lies about my life on the dark web anyway. And they're planning to kill you. So, um, so this online black female perp mentioned, oh, oh, I mentioned about the other perp earlier trying to talk about me being brown skin with nappy hair and stuff like that. And, um, there was an online perp that told me yesterday, be careful with, with what you say, be careful with your words, and um, you're the, maybe it's you who's the problem. You don't even know me. So then, um, so then later on, I, I mean, this online perp tried to say, why? block me when you're going to respond to me anyway and and then this perp try to say well um well i have a two-bedroom condo and i drive a red tesla and i watch you for entertainment and um and the person can't even spell properly but try to call me mentally slow and remedial You try to actually nobody ever in their life called me remedial. You say that that I'm remedial, but you can't even properly spell. And you claim to own a two bedroom condo and drive a red Tesla and brag about watching me for entertainment, and then falsely accuse me of being lazy and always causing drama. You don't even know me. But you come from the gang star confusion centers. So, um, as I said, these are the people who are preventing me from working. I give up. I don't want to try to work another job. So I've tried and fought for so many years. Y'all blocked and prevented me for so many years. I'm 38 years old. I know I'm still on that young side. But I'm burnt out and tired. And I'm disabled. So, um, it's like, oh yeah, an online perp try to say that I'm lazy and full of drama and that I expect, you know how they try to say I expect handouts. <clears throat> and then the online perp try to say that, that, um, I forgot what the perp said something about that I need somebody to um the online perps are always talking about how I need somebody to control me or I need to be handled or I need to be chastised or something like that you know and they bully me like eight year olds but then they say that I act like that I act childish like a ten year old so um and then 
pe people at the job. None of them care about me. Nobody called me today to check up on or see nothing at all today. They might as well just be like the hell with her, you know. Nobody called to check up on me or try to work things out or talk things out or nothing. I heard nothing from the job today. But they probably doing some evil works behind my back after I exposed their asses. But I know I'm not mental. I know I'm not crazy. You know, so, but anyway, I, I wrote a fiction short story that's very short. I think short stories that short, I think it's called flash fiction or something like that. So, um, look in the description box about the short story that I wrote. Plus, I made some amend amendments, some changes to the um, my YouTube description message that I always put in almost every video. I don't put it in the shorts because in the shorts videos, people don't really bother to, um, I don't think they really click on the description in the shorts. They probably do. I don't know. I know I do. I, I check the description box of everybody's on, on the videos that I watch of other people's. I, I always check the description box, you know. So, but I mean, I poured my heart out and wrote my ass off today, journaling, blogging. And I, I feel like I have nothing really to lose because everybody already hates me anyway. Everybody's mad at me anyway. So, um, <clears throat> you know, but I'm, I, um, so just if you care, you know, <clears throat> if, if you can look in the description box about the short, very short story, because with the um, added changes that I made, I, w I try to make this, sh I would have wanted to make the short story longer. But, um, I, w I wanted to make the short story a little longer, but I was worried about enough, if I had enough space in the, um, description box. If I had enough space in the description box. So, um, that's why I made it so short. <clears throat> so, I mean, if y'all can, you know, donate and help me out with dinner... All I have is peanut butter and bread here. Peanut butter sandwiches. That's all I have. I don't have really anything else. And water. So, you know, I was trying to ask for, you know, if anybody, you know, I did the short story in exchange for, you know, if you wanted to donate or tip for, um, you know, donate or tip, you know, to help me out with dinner and toiletries. And, um, I heard it's supposed to rain all week this week and probably next week. And I heard that there's a, um, a storm threat, you know, like a hurricane threat or something. I don't know. <clears throat> but thankfully I'm protected in this motel until at least Friday. That's when I finally get paid. So, um, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to talk a hole in y'all head or talk too long. But I might do some more writing tonight. I need to take a little break because I wrote nonstop with no breaks today. Just writing and writing and writing all day long. Despite feeling sleep deprived and being sleep deprived. And I need to get my mind rested, you know. <clears throat> so, thanks for any help. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm warning y'all, please... Stop believing the slander campaigns and lies about me.